Welcome, graduates, colleagues, friends, and family members to our 2019 graduation for the London School of Business and Finance and Uninetuno. My name is Chris Jasko, and I'm the academic lead at LSBF. We're gathered here today to honor the graduates seated before us. You graduates here today are unique. You come from countries all around the world, Botswana, Malaysia, Brazil, I met many last night. Uh, you are parents, you are full-time employees. You're starting a new career or business or making the final push for a promotion. You worked long days and nights and weekends, not in a university library, but in your homes or a local park or cafe, a local library and on a computer, completing your work online. Online studies can be challenging. I'm sure you've felt isolated at times. You asked questions and waited for answers. Rarely, if ever, did you get the gratification of a pat on the shoulder, a live smile, or a personally delivered encouraging word from your teacher, who may have been thousands of kilometers away, here in the UK, in Canada, Pakistan, or elsewhere. You who sit before me today have risen to the challenge. As required in online learning, you've shown initiative and resourcefulness. In your activities and assessments, you have excelled, learned, and developed. The quality of your work is without question, and you will walk away from today's ceremony with confirmation of the success that you've had. Nothing can ever take away from your achievements as students, so congratulations. Everyone, please join me in giving these amazing graduates a round of applause. Having faced the challenges of online postgraduate studies, your journey now continues. The task you face is to get out and apply what you've learned, to realize your ideas and dreams. Become a better manager, colleague, entrepreneur, or employee. Perhaps get your PhD. You've earned the right to sit here today. Take confidence in that and know that any challenges you now face are ones that you can handle. Bumps in the road will come, I promise. You will not be successful, innovative, or creative without a bit of failure. So commit today to being brave, and more so, do it together. To your left and right, you have another graduate. These people beside you have experienced the same challenges that you have, and share similar ambitions. Maintain the connections you have formed and you'll form today. Connect with other graduates from this program and others like it, and continue to reach out to your teachers. Share your ideas and build upon the constructive thoughts that others may contribute to them. And remember that you're stronger when you remain an active remember, member of the global community you're now a part of. Just as you deserve our applause and congratulations, so too do some other people in the room today. You would likely, most likely not be here were it not for the love and support of your friends and family. These are the people who stayed up with you all night, editing your papers, making you coffee, giving you an encouraging word when you felt uncertain. So graduates, please join me in giving a round of applause and a big thank you to your friends and your families. Finally, uh, let me thank the team of people who are seated here on, uh, not on stage, here at the front with me, as well as my co colleagues who are seated out in the audience today. Likely, your journey as graduates began uh, with an idea or a dream. Our colleagues in marketing, student recruitment, and admissions helped you make the first steps towards the realization of that dream. Your studies were supported by our amazing colleagues in student support, exams and assessments, and e-learning, who guided your steps delivered your results, and built the platform you studied on. Our production team, who's produced all the videos you've seen in your studies uh, and who are here filming today, thank you to them. And of course, there are your teachers here with me, uh, who led your modules, shared their wisdom, and guided you through discussions and provided one-to-one -one support on your dissertations. Please join me in giving these people all a round of applause.
Uh, now please join me in welcoming our colleague from Uninatuno, Dr. Nicola Paravati. Dr. Paravati graduated from the Università degli Studi di Bologna in 1998, writing his thesis on education in the digital era. He is currently head of International Affairs Office at Uninatuno, where he's also the coordinator for global cooperation projects focused on new technologies, global education, and social inclusion. He's a member of the executive committee of Open Up Ed, a representative of the International Council for Open and Distance Education in the Mediterranean and Southern Europe, and a delegate for Uninatuno at the Global Association of Distance Teaching Universities. Dr. Paravati has been a coordinator and speaker at several worldwide conferences and seminars on e-learning and new approaches to global higher education systems. He's had the opportunity to advocate for e-learning opportunities at top global institutions, such as the United Nations in New York, the European Commission in Brussels, and the parliaments of several Arab, African, and Eastern European countries. Welcome, Dr. Paravati. So, good morning, everyone. First of all, I want to thank Chris for the um, introduction and thanks to all of you and especially to all the family members that are here supporting you. I'm representing here the uh, International University Union at Tuno, that is an online university, and in particular, I'm representing our rector, Professor Maria Matagarito, that is very proud of this achievement. And uh, this is also a sign that our work for open education globally, thanks to, uh, with, with new technologies, is, is it's something that helps people, family, countries to put together their knowledge, their expertise for creating a global community of students and professionals. So welcome to London, welcome to Europe, welcome to the global world of the education of the, 20, of, of, of the 21st century. Our job as educators is probably one of the most exciting jobs around. Giving education opportunity to people is a privilege. Staying with you today is also a great privilege. But I want to focus on some great aspects of your experience as students of a global education movement. If you see the people in this room, you will see not only a group of students and their families proud of, proud of them, you see one of the first global education community made by students and academics from different countries, cultures, religions, languages. A community of pioneers that thanks to new technologies had overcome physical and cultural barriers in the name of education. So, be proud of you, as your family here are, and uh, be confident that you did the right choice, and you are now this, a student, actually. You were a student, now you are a professional, an educated student of the 21st century. So when technologies and uh, uh, let's say education opportunity can be shared around the world, with everyone not in, not, is not important anymore borders or religions or cultures or languages. So you are one of these pioneers that probably will, be, will open a new way to many of other students. So, Thank you, congratulations to all of you, and uh, enjoy this important day. Make pictures, shake hands, and uh, have fun. Be ready for the way ahead that is waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Paravati. We'll now continue by presenting our graduates with their diplomas. 
Presenting the certificates will be LSBF's academic registrar, Karina Kishner, and our program leader for online business programs, Dr. Shalnaz Hamid. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Rashmi Albert. Thank you. Thank you. Kim Johan Otero. Graziella Azoparadi. <laughs> Alessandra Daria Carpi. Jacobus Johannes Abraham Krunji. <laughs> Mina Fitri. Ridwan Ahmed Ghani. Borislav Kamenov Grancharov. Daniel Hadley. Krasimir Komjenovic. Purity Karambu Laird. Jumbe Magambi Mariam Carol Jerry Mwangi Annette Norton Olena Nusinov. Pavel Pietras Fukas. Salman Muhammad Abdurrahman. Rahman. 
Pramod Shantaram Rawidakar. Shahruz Shongi Rizwani. Michelle Maureen Ricks. Olgan Topol. For the award of Dual Master of Science and Masters of Arts in Finance and Investment, Joseph Ubong. Andreas Konstinas too. For the award of Masters of Arts in Finance and Investment, Belinda Asante. Erico de Souza Cardoso. <laughs> Petar Georgiev Diankov. <laughs> Maranian Macondo. Shirajat Benjamin Ramushu. <laughs> Timothy Ting Lee Kwai. <laughs> For the award of dual Masters of Science and Master of Arts in Strategic Marketing. Gwendolyn Gluck. <laughs> Maha Benakir. Anne Marie Mengion. Robert Motuz. Nadia Raucher. Sally Ann Thorpe. For the award of Master of Arts in Strategic Marketing, Kitan Abisolo Awabajo. Congratulations. It's really nice to hear your names and see your faces. <laughs> I 
and you can take a breath now and relax, yeah? <laughs> so uh, I would like now to introduce our keynote speaker for the day, Global Dean of LSBF, Dr. Naftej Dosanjh. Dr. Dosanjh is the Provost and Head of the Global Business School of the University of Law here in London. He's the former Global Dean and Head of Holt International Business School. He has served as a visiting professor at a number of institutions of higher education, most recently at ESCP Europe and Africa Leadership University. Dr. Dosanjh is the inventor of an emergency tech learning management system which has a patent pending and serves as the board of director uh, of the World Research Center, which is an emerging tech business application startup. He is a board member of the Digital Marketing Association and co-founder of a digital economy think tank, along with two of the top digital economy professors in the country. So, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Uh, Naftaj Dosanj. Wow, so it's, it's a, a little bit different. The atmosphere is a little bit different to what it was five minutes ago. Uh, the world has changed. The world has changed a lot for you guys. And the word I, I have one word that I, as I was sitting there, um, and the word is joy. You have joy. I can see from your faces the joy. Your family and your friends, and I, can, I bet I could place each of you with each one of your uh, friends and family here because the, the, their face is lit up as you walked across the, the floor here. And as educators, your faculty will have joy. You know, people fall into jobs, they, they fall into careers, but faculty never fall into careers. Educators educate because they have an inner joy from giving. And just please remember that that your education came from lots of things, resources, but actually it came from joy. It came from the joy of giving. And with joy, I think there come some responsibilities. You have some new responsibilities, which I think you did not have five minutes ago. You have, you have things that you ha are responsible for to the world. So with your permission, but only with your permission, I would like to offer you some advice as you embark on your new era of responsibility. Do I have that permission? That's good news because I didn't have another speech. <laughs> so, you guys know, we all know that we are in this era of unprecedented and unrelenting uncertainty. I'm not going to spend time thinking about why that's the case, although over drinks, please come and talk to me, and we can talk about that. Because I want to focus on some of the responsibilities that I believe you now have as graduates. Firstly, however difficult it gets, and it will, I would like you to talk to people. I would like you to undertake a solemn promise to yourselves today that you will talk to people rather than about people. We all know that that's difficult. But having an education, being educated is a privilege. Take that privilege forward with responsibility to your fellow humans. Second, be forthright and honest, but do it graciously and selectively. What do I mean by that? Nobody wants to know all of our opinions all of the time. We think, we think the world is a movie and that we are the central actor, but with education comes a responsibility to acknowledge that we share the world with other people. We do not need to be throwing our opinions around all the time. But when we do, when it's relevant, do it forcefully, do it graciously. But as I said, please do it successfully. Third,
we all classify, sort, arrange into groups. We see patterns. But now that you are graduates, be careful with how far you take that categorization, whether it's of people, whether it's of countries, whether it's of institutions. Heuristics is a good thing because it can make us work at speed. But it's also a dangerous thing, particularly in this era of increased populism. So I will ask you to be careful how you categorize and to what extent use, you use heuristics to take you forward. Be a slow thinker and a fast thinker. And that's going to be hard because we are all predisposed to being slow thinkers, deliberate, reflective thinkers, or fast, operational thinkers. But we need to do both. When you're being operational, don't be paralyzed by inaction. Move forward quickly, purposefully, and demonstrably with what you need to get done. When you're being innovative, innovation is not fast. You need to be a slow, reflective thinker. I want to talk about conflict. Conflict can be positive in some instances, but it's very negative when it's based on not understanding somebody's emotions. Conflict is a great thing when we are innovating, when we're trying to find new things, new ways of working, new patterns of engagement. But conflict, because you haven't understood somebody else's assumptions and you haven't taken the time to understand somebody's assumptions, is a little bit dangerous. I want to go a little bit further. Please take some time, now that you are graduates, you're embarking on a new life, please take some time to understand your own emotions and your own assumptions. Be honest with ourselves that we all have assumptions. Next, learn to distinguish between noise and what is real. What's the noise and what's the data? How do we do that? Ask the right questions. Be careful be careful not to ask the wrong question which won't lead you forward. It'll just add to the noise. The next point is crucial in my view. This is something that's helped me in my career and uh, in my life. Get yourself a friendly critic or coach. Get yourself somebody who's going to tell you the truth about what you're saying, you, what your ideas are. I will also tell you this. The two best coaches I've ever had, I've never paid for. In fact, they both worked for me for many years. But they had full permission to say anything that they wanted to me. Get yourself a coach, get yourself a friendly critic who's going to tell you the truth and who won't abuse that privilege. Finally, I will say this. Be the convener and the facilitator of interesting conversations. Don't work in isolation. Don't work in a shed. Build networks of interesting people doing interesting things. And don't worry where it's going to lead you. Let it lead wherever it can. 
I want to finish as I started uh, and talking about joy. Today, as you go out of this place into the, from these beautiful surroundings, um, take some time tonight with your friends, your family, with each other to completely relax and have total joy until you're ready to drop. I want to thank you for your time and for giving me permission to speak to you and for taking my advice. I appreciate you very, very much. Congratulations again. I am so proud of you. Thank you very much, Dr. Dosanj. Uh, this concludes our graduation ceremony. Uh, we will now proceed uh, outside for photos with our graduates, uh, followed by a reception here in the church. Uh, I'd like to remind you, please, afterwards, to return your robes upstairs where you got them. Um, and as, uh, as you've already been told, uh, enjoy your day. Celebrate. You've achieved so much, and enjoy it, and go out and uh, kick some butt, right? So, congratulations. Uh, and also, I just want to thank uh, Brittany Cordy. I don't think any of you would have been here today if it hadn't been for her, and Karina for organizing everything today. They've really done a great job. So, thanks to them. And that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>